my beautiful Sagittarius, always ready to burst into laughter and always on a journey of some sort, one or another. <laughs> Okay, let's see. This is a relationship reading for Sagittarius, and I will read it as a romantic relationship, but it could be anyone. It could be any kind of a relationship. So let's get started here. The Two of Swords is a mutual energy between you and the person for whom you've come to the reading to ask about. Two of Swords is sort of annoyed, you know, this is a card that says, oh, I don't want to be bothered with this right now. I don't want to talk about this. So there's a little bit of friction. Uh, the nine of swords energy is current energy that says that the two of you are worried about something very significant. Uh, this is a card of remorse, regret. Did we do the right thing? Did we make the right decision? Let's see what, how your person sees the two of you in this situation. The Magician card, ooh, they have confidence that you are not going to stay in a bad situation of any sort. Look at this, this is Gemini and Virgo energy. The Nine of Swords is Gemini energy and the Two of Swords is Libra energy. So we'll see what we have here. How do they view you, Sag? How does your person view you? Ah, right now is indecisive. You have a lot of options. Well, that's always good to have options, right? Okay. The way they feel in their heart space, they're staying detached, they're trying not to get overly involved uh, in a situation that they feel is a decision that you may have to make on your own. This person is there for you, they're confident, this is Aquarius energy, they have a lot of wisdom, you can call on them for advice, you can call on them for help. This is a very gentle spirit, look at how beautiful and serene this person is. You know, it's uh, very high, you know, a lot of wisdom, very high up in this mountainous region and all of these birds are really there. This is almost like a shaman, right? But, for, but the birds are the ones that recognize this shaman exists. Interesting energy, all right. So the Page of Swords energy indicates that the person is studying the situation. They would like to have enlightenment. They're, they really see that whatever you're about to do as a couple, and for you Sagittarius in particular, has a certain amount of risk. This person is, um, walking across a sword barefooted between two cliffs with a waterfall beneath and doing it with confidence. You know, studying the situation, a book in hand, seeking enlightenment with the light bulbs overhead. The birds are there sort of helping the person keep balance. So your person really feels they're very empowered. Wow. They feel, you know, the two of you might have worried about this, but there's something that this person has discovered that makes them feel that there is not only a silver lining in this cloud above the both of you, but a beautiful, amazing situation that can come about. They see you again still, you know, they feel like you're a little stagnant, you're a little bit nervous about making this decision, but they know that you'll make the right decision and it looks as though they may help lead the way. All right, so what is the hidden energy between the two of you right now? Guardedness, you know, the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior or just a warrior who's tired, very much on the lookout, you know, somewhat defensive but not too defensive ready to jump into action you can step over that fence and and run wherever you have to run very quickly in either direction so it does show that while you're being cautious while you're going to be careful a new cycle is coming about in your lives together as a couple and individually that is going it's going to be some significant changes from what I can tell and I'm seeing this in a lot of the readings this month all right so let's see what is the advice of the tarot and this beautiful love relationship of support beautiful all right, so the advice of the Tarot is don't take action right now. You know, even though you want to take action, it's not quite time yet. The Four of Cups says, you know, there's, there's cups, you have time, you probably have maybe even up to four months to make a decision. And, you know, right now, 
you're not very happy about that but look at this beautiful tree growing in the background there's a beautiful crop that's growing there's a lot of passion there's a little rainbow down here so it really says that even though you want to take action this is not quite the time take your time we're going to clarify all these cards also it all you know this also shows that right now you have a, again you have four viable choices. In this card, you have seven. So you're gonna winnow this down with the help of your partner. The death card is the outcome card. So major transformation, Scorpio energy. Um, we have Aquarius energy. The seven of cups is Pisces energy. The page of swords is Gemini. The nine of wands is Sagittarius. There you are in your reading, very guarded. Uh, the Four of Cups is Cancerian Energy, so we have Scorpio. But here we see, look at this beautiful spread of cards. We have the Magician card, Major Arcana. We have the, the Page of Swords, learning and enlightening, you know, enlightenment about the situation, and then transformational energy. So I'm going to clarify this with another Chris Ann deck, the Muse Tarot. So let's see what we have for our beautiful Sages. I want to make sure I'm not... Okay, there we go. So Sagittarius, why do we have the Two of Swords? What is bugging you? What is bugging you, Sag? What is bugging you and your partner? These crows are picking at you. You don't want to look at this. You don't want to have to deal with this situation. It feels really uh, awkward, uncomfortable. What is the situation? The Muse of Emotions. Ooh, the King of Cups. King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Interesting. Scorpio energy, Scorpio King, is all about really loving deeply. Uh, usually not talking about emotions a lot, but it is a card that is transformational in love. They love un unconditionally. The Scorpio King loves unconditionally and deeply, almost to the point that they feel that, you know, they would put their life on the line for someone, uh, figuratively anyway. Oh, beautiful. This, oh, the lover's card. There's all of this weeping and sadness and regret over the lover's card. All right, clarified by the lover's card. There's something very passionate that has happened. All right, why is the Magician card here? So that's Gemini energy. I'm going to, I want to put this right here. This, pages can also be children. All right, so let's look and see what the Magician card is. What is the Magician card? What is the Magician card? Six of Emotions. The Soulmate card, the Six of Cups, a reunion. Watching your resources, being very careful with them. Sagittarius, Six of Materials, Six of Coins, equal give and take. Why is the beautiful King of Swords here? The Magician card again, manifesting. Manifesting something with the help of your partner. Manifesting something beautiful with the help of your partner. So we have a King of Cups and we have a King of Swords. So there might, might be a choice you have to make that you don't want to make. Oh, Sag, what is happening? Why is the Page of Swords here? Eight of Emotions, you have to leave something behind. Oh, wow, okay. Why do you feel defensive? Why do you and your partner feel defensive? Let's see. Knight of Swords, truth be told. The Knight of Swords rushes in, comes through a portal. Um, it's a time of epiphany. It's a time of fast action. What is it that the Tarot is telling you about here? Why are we getting Ace of Voices, Ace of Swords, Clarity, Truth, Understanding, Following Your Intuition, Ten of Swords, Putting a Relationship to an End so that another relationship can prosper. All right, yep, and we have Seven of Inspiration, Seven of Wands, Defending a Decision. 
ooh, to leave somebody behind or to leave a situation behind in which there was perhaps another lover. I'm not really getting the, this is a card of deception, can be a card of lying. The Seven of Wands is a card of defending yourself. So Sagittarius, the cards are saying that you and your partner may split or for whom it resonates, this is going to be leaving one partner to go to another. And let's get some more clarification on this. The Magician card, that's manifestation. So the king, this, this Aquarius king, looks as though they're manifesting a relationship with you. This can also be dealing with an ex-partner. So you've started a new relationship and you have an ex-partner who will not let you be, who will not leave you alone, who might be starting trouble or trying to you know, deal with a custody situation or something that you share. Why is the magician card here again? <gasps> Ten of emotions. Okay, so your partner knows that you are not happy about having to leave. It's been very worrisome to both of you, but they know you're going to have a wonderful life together. Sag, I mean, this is, this is Gemini energy, your natural seventh house. And we see this beautiful Ten of Cups. This person is your happiness. All right, so let's see what the Death card is about and the Ten of Swords. Truly, truly transformational Sagittarius. What exactly is transforming for Sagittarius at this time in love? Two of Emotions, the beginning of a new love relationship. That is a bride and groom card. Three of materials, okay. So it could have been a third party situation in which um, you might not have been married to this person, but you could have been. It will resonate differently with everyone, but it does look like a, let's see how you will feel about this new beginning. Look at this. Oh my gosh, the Knight of Materials, you are not acting in a rash way. You are taking your time to make this decision to really work on something very beautiful, something that makes you feel alive, something that makes you feel like your hair is on fire with excitement every day when you wake up. This beautiful cat, you've been wishing for it. We're looking at this beautiful black cat who has conjured up a new relationship and it allows you to leave a relationship with someone who made you sad who was very very intense in terms of um, intellectually sort of always there's sort of a negative thought process here one that made you suffer Sagittarius this is beautiful energy let's look and see what the travelers card has to say to you for you and your partner this beautiful king of swords. Somebody who is cool, calm, collected, has their act together. This is a person who probably is very intelligent, very intellectual, oftentimes brilliant or has a genius of some kind. And since we see them with the magician card twice, this is a person, person who can pull a rabbit out of a hat. Ascending the mountain, look it, look it. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Really going to the top of the mountain and traveling lightly. Oh, look it. This horse is traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Leave something behind. All right, there we go. You are right here. You're, you're, look at how light this person travel, is traveling. Leaving a dark space, leaving what seemed like a dark hole, and simplifying the life. But look at leaving here. You look like you're walking into the darkness, but actually you're walking into the sun here. How beautiful is that? So let's take a look and see what the Spirit Cat Oracle has to say for you, Sag. These are some of the most profound advice that I have found in any Oracle deck I have ever owned. And I'm going to take that as a yes answer. 
for this card. All right, look at that beautiful. The black and the white. So there's something very stark in the reality of this decision. Paradox, meet stardust. This is stardust, ooh, cute. Meet Stardust. He is a convergence of opposites. He is the dark and the light. He is a magician. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't make this up. He is a magician that turns everything on its head, pawing at the paradox. He travels the galaxies with his best friends, free will and destiny. No one knows where one begins and the other ends. He sees the good and the evil and the evil and the good. Within every blessing, there is a tragedy. Oh, the, oh this is such a descriptor of this reading. Um, okay, so, and within every tragedy, there is a blessing. <clears throat> we think we know what is what, but Stardust throws everything into question and let the paradox open up our thinking and our perspective. Whoa, look at that. Sagittarius, if you like this, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you so much. It's been a joy.